The Phoenix real estate market is continuing its unprecedented growth. This is Cindy Nelson with Realty One Group with your real estate market update. In December of 2020, the median price of a single family home in the Valley was $357,000. That means 50% of homes sold under that price and 50% sold over. At the end of 2021, that number jumped to $457,500. That's a 28.1% increase. Each week in 2021, the annual appreciation outperformed the previous week and previous year. It was a very good year for sellers looking to cash out their equity. All Valley City saw massive appreciation last year, with Coolidge leading the way with a whopping 40.5% appreciation. Homeownership continues as a strong investment option to build wealth. The total number of home sales in the Valley was up nearly 5% in 2021, but the mix is quite interesting. Fewer homes sold under 500,000. Sales under 200,000 fell 40%, while sales between 200 and 500,000 fell 3%. However, there was a 65% increase in the number of homes that sold between 500,000 and a million, and another 68% increase in homes that sold over 1 million. While the number of resale homes were up, new build sales were down over 12% over the previous year, probably due to supply chain issues and lack of building materials. Building permits for both single-family homes and multi-family homes were up over 17% from 2020. That will certainly help increase inventory, but not in the immediate future. We started 2022 off with the fewest listings we've seen at least over the last 21 years. In fact, on January 1st of this year, we had 5,776 active listings of any kind across the valley. Last year, the year started with 6,055, so we are down nearly 5%. This extreme shortage of supply is not good news for buyers. With population continuing to increase in the valley and construction still trying to catch up, we don't see a big slowdown coming anytime soon. However, interest rates have slowly been rising the last few weeks, and all indicators point to a continuing increase. This could put a little throttle on demand, perhaps slowing growth a little bit. I know I sound like a broken record, but waiting to buy will cost you money. If you're thinking about making a move this year, let's talk. With the craziness in the market, you have a lot of options as a buyer or a seller. To protect yourself and your wallet, make sure you don't fall for a well-funded advertising pitch. Make sure you talk to your trusted advisor who has your best interest at heart. And that's me, Cindy Nelson, Realtor and Resort and Second Home Property Specialist with Realty One Group.